NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said on Thursday NATO did not want a confrontation with Russia. On Wednesday, Stoltenberg said in Brussels that Russia was still arming and training Russian-backed militants in eastern Ukraine, and he called for the warring parties to help foreign monitors reinforce a ceasefire. NATO does not seek confrontation with Russia, but Russia must respect its neighbors and their borders. That's a precondition for uh, uh, a stable and a peaceful uh, Europe. Stoltenberg, who praised the withdrawal of heavy weapons, insisted the priority to achieve a successful ceasefire was to see monitors from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe given safe and free access and comprehensive information they need to reinforce the truce. We have seen some withdrawal of heavy weapons, and I welcome that, but uh, there is uh, no uh, sufficient monitoring of the ceasefire, neither of the withdrawal of the heavy weapons. So the main focus now is that we have to support all efforts uh, to have a proper monitoring of the ceasefire, which means that the OSCE monitors have to have full access, they have to have the security guarantees, and they have to have the information they need to do the job and to be able to conduct the monitoring, which is so essential uh, for the implementation of the ceasefire and the Minsk uh, agreement. The OSCE said on Thursday it would extend its observer mission to Ukraine for one year, until March 2016, possibly doubling its size to 1,000 observers.